Today, let's talk about three simple but critical implementation problems plaguing the Google Analytics profiles of dealerships all around the country right now. And it could be affecting you. Problem number one, data loss. Generally speaking, your analytics sessions are your vitals. If you see that line hit zero and stay there, we're calling time of death. That's why we need to be constantly vigilant of our analytics implementation. So why can this happen? Well, there's a number of reasons why Google Analytics can drop to zero sessions, but the number one reason is simply the implementation of your Google Analytics tracking code in the head of your website. You'll want to re-examine your tracking code or Google Tag Manager implementation to ensure that your site is being tracked at all. What's the solution? Google Analytics includes a feature that you may not be utilizing. The custom alerts feature can send you notifications based on your detailed criteria, including sessions reaching zero. Simply head to your Google Analytics settings, little gear icon on the bottom left, and under your view settings, you'll see custom alerts. Once you add and name a new alert like data loss, you can choose which views you want to have send you alerts, what frequency you'd like to check, and the conditions of those alerts. As a rule of thumb, setting all traffic to alert you when your session's condition is less than one will make this alert effective anytime your site reaches zero. You can tweak these settings to fit your needs. Don't forget, check off send me an email when this alert triggers and hit save alert. Problem number two, wrong or multiple site implementation. This next implementation problem has less to do with a lack of data and more to do with too much. Google tracking codes under certain circumstances can be implemented on more than one website, and in some cases, just the wrong website altogether. This can happen in a number of ways, but generally it all comes down to user error, and very frequently site migrations. Of course, the issue with this is that your data is not your data, or at least it's not the data you're looking for. It's either a combined total of multiple locations or subdomains, or it's a different site entirely. What's the solution? Check your traffic's host name. Under most circumstances, anything showing up on your analytics that should be there should display the same host name as your website. If you see anything other than that, in almost all cases, it's worth investigating. The way to check your host name breakdown is simple. Head to Google Analytics, open up Behavior, Site Content, All Pages, and then select your primary dimension just under the graph. Then select host name. Once this is done, you should see a breakdown of all of your traffic over a given date range. If any of this shows up as something other than the website you expect, you may have incorrectly implemented tracking codes. Problem number three, double implementation. This is a particularly heinous problem, as the symptoms don't show easily in common checks for errors, and they frequently make your site look like it's performing better than it really is. This problem generally arises in a similar fashion to the other two during site building or migration when you're first getting set up. But other errors are possible. What's the solution? Watch your bounce rate. Bounce rate is a measurement of whether or not someone who arrived on your site left the site from the same page or continued onward deeper into your website. To check your bounce rate, simply head to your Google Analytics, Acquisition Overview, and then Bounce Rate can be found under Behavior. Although a very low bounce rate is exciting, if it's too low, it's likely not realistic. We find that any bounce rate falling below 25% is likely false and needs to be looked into. When a Google Analytics tracking code is double implemented, not only is your overall traffic potentially doubled, but Google Analytics is almost always reading each user as having hit more than one page, showing you a minuscule bounce rate. If you see your bounce rate drop to unrealistic lows, especially over the course of a day or two, then you know you're looking at a double implementation of your tracking code that needs to be addressed. Google Analytics tracking implementation is extremely important and complicated. We've only touched the surface of the kinds of errors you can see in Google Analytics and how to identify them, let alone implementing fixes if the worst should happen. That wraps things up for this week, but we're just getting started, so be sure to join me next Thursday for more discussion of data integrity and what that means for your dealership. And, of course, join us every Thursday for more SEO and digital marketing insights right here on Just the Tip.